Not far from Alec's intended destination, his motorcycle stalled at the stop sign, and the elderly lady behind him gunned her vehicle, flipping Alec the bird as she roared by. Nothing like being insulted by a retiree before being left to eat her dust. Literally. Alec coughed as exhaust fumes and grit hit his face. Clearly a cosmic bitch-slap for ignoring the expert's advice and purchasing this bike. An impulse buy, triggered by a hellacious morning, sure, but being forced to push his classic, translation, old, Harley-Davidson into said expert's garage? Not exactly a stellar start to a relationship with Alex, new-to-him motorcycle, or his recently formulated plan to put the past behind him and get a life. One that didn't include Tyler, his ex-boyfriend, at every turn. A fresh wave of determination hit. Motivated, Alec raised himself up on his right leg and heaved his entire weight down on the kickstart. The motor sputtered half-heartedly before dying, and two more tries produced the same results. Stumped, Alec frowned at the mound of metal between his legs. She's a fickle one, all right, a voice called out. Alec's lips quirked at the suggestion he take the machine's uncooperative nature personally, and he sought the source with his gaze. In the front entryway of a metal building, beneath the words, Adam's Vintage Motors printed in red, a man leaned against the door jamb. Dylan Booth. Over the phone, the mechanic's husky voice had slid over Alec like warm oil. But Alec's imagination hadn't done Dylan justice. Sporting grease-stained jeans and a black T-shirt, he had clean lines and classic good looks. Arms crossed. He appeared relaxed, laid back. But the keen eyes were alert, quietly assessing. On the inside, he had to be laughing his ass off at Alec's self-induced predicament. Alec tried to care, but failed. The current humiliation paled in comparison to today's news about Tyler. The thought of his ex-boyfriend left Alec's gripping the throttle with determination.